Hello. This week is Pashas Vayera, and we're doing a Maimir in Teira Eir Pashas Vayera. There is a bit of a challenge, however. There are exactly two Maimorim in Teira Eir and Pashas Vayera. One is more mystical than the next. These are truly classic Kabbalah works, as it were. And uh, we chose to do the second of the two Maimorim, which is arguably a little bit easier. But neither the two Maimorim and Teira Eir, at least on the surface, speak to the heart. They clearly speak to the more intellectual, philosophical side. So our challenge becomes to make a more mystical and philosophical Maimir, uh, comprehensible, relevant, and uh, even inspiring. Rapinchas Koritzer was one of the greatest of the Talmudim of the Holy Baal Shem Tev. Much is known about him. There are many stories. He was a unique personality, a unique kind of Rebbe, with, in a way, his own kind of Hasidus. One of his greatest disciples was a Jew whose last name was Babad. I, you'll forgive me, I don't remember his first name. And this disciple of Rabbi Pinchas Karzer had an incredibly difficult life. And he struggled with many things, material things of all different types, health, sustenance, family, and so forth. And he agonized. He was a big chassid, he was a great Talmud Chacham, and he was probably a very spiritual person, and perhaps even a, a, you know, a elevated person. But he struggled so much with his personal life that it dragged him down, as it would anybody. And on one particular occasion, he sat and wallowed in his own suffrage, in his own challenges, and for a, f for a flash, for a split second, the idea crossed his mind, does God know what I'm going through? The moment that thought entered into his awareness, he understood that he'd stepped over a line, so to speak, and he decided, if he could think such a thought, is God aware of what's going on in my life? I need a visit to my Rebbe, I need a recharge. So he got into his wagon and he drove to Koritz. He traveled into the Chotzer, that means the courtyard where the Pinchas Koritzer lived. He drove his horse and wagon around the front of the courtyard with the intent of going around to the back where there was a stable and a place for wagons and so forth. And as he drives by the front window of his Rebbe's home, the window opens, the Pinchas Koritzer pokes his head out, looks at him and screams, Ich weiß nicht, ich weiß, weiß nicht, der if I know, you think God doesn't? So this disciple of the Pinchas Karatzer got his answer. He didn't even stop. He drove around the courtyard and went straight back home. His Rebbe told him, I know what's going on. I appreciate your suffrage. God certainly does. Let us see if the Maime we're about to learn can add depth to the story beyond simply a Rebbe feeling his chassid and having a, an extra sense to know what his chassid is thinking.